Well, one interesting thing about copper resistance, or I should just say heavy metal resistance in general in microbes, is that a lot of times the, the genes that encode for this heavy metal or copper resistance are on the same mobile genetic elements that encode for things like methicillin resistance. So by treating with methicillin, selecting for a population that's then resistant to methicillin, you actually enrich for the genes for copper resistance. So, I mean, ultimately in the long run, you could probably design a drug or someone could design a drug to inhibit one of these copper detoxification mechanisms. You could use a drug that doesn't co-select for copper uh, uh, resistance. So if you know that treating with methicillin also selects for copper resistance, you could treat with another drug and hope that that doesn't select for copper resistance as well. But overall, I don't think that there's really a clear answer as to how you could go about um, preventing the acquisition, or I should say, the uh, detoxification of copper itself. The microbes are pretty good at this. I will say though that they still do die if they are on a copper surface. So although these copper detoxification systems might help maybe to treat or maybe they help them survive within the human body, remember we use copper as well as an antimicrobial, they're not very effective at preventing or allowing survival on solid copper, copper surfaces.